Hey, 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 this is Take Take Nation Live, the number one channel voicing the voiceless. And so this year has started on a really high note. Things are looking nice, weather is fresh, things look nice. And many of us have really set our aspirations and goals for the new year. And so I have heard and read um, different young people who keep on making a lot of noise online that, oh, God, I mean, this idea could tour some people in my life. And, and at times I think we, we, we underwrite what God can do. God cannot be involved in our daily nonsense. It, it's, it's, it can't happen. So majority of the young people, I think we need to understand that there are things in life that are important. God is important, of course. Secondly, I will tell you for free that relationships are extremely important. The successful people you see, even in politics, they have been able to succeed because of the relationships they have been able to keep for years. If you look at the example of how Ruto and Uhuru have been together from Kanu days, coming to 202, all this process, it's a long journey of close ties and relationships that finally gave Ruto the presidency. Do not ever take relationships for granted. Many people who are even in the private sector, those even in the world of entrepreneurship, there is a time when somebody has inadequate capital. Somebody needs to really reflect over ideas with others. Most of the young people in the current day and age imagine that they are self-sufficient. That's because you go to school, you have your degree, you are able to take care of all your life needs. I would like to assure you in this video that you are so inadequate. You are so inadequate. You will not be able to succeed in this life if you ever imagined that you are self-sufficient. You are able to run your life A to Z. You are the alpha and omega of your life. I would tell you for free, the last time I checked, it's not possible. What am I saying? The year is starting. There's a lot of pressure online that, oh, people make me noise, oh, family, I don't like family, oh, family is bullshit, oh, friends are useless. Yes, they are friends, they can be useless. All family members, all friends can be useless. But I can tell you, you are more useless when you are alone. It's only that you have never realized how useless you can become. And I think for me, nobody can have everyone as a friend. Even at a family level, you will not have all the family members as your friends. It's a fact. But that doesn't mean that you can walk alone. Try as much as you can. Package your interpersonal skills well. Have good manners. Understand how to relate with people. You will, life is a matter of give and take. Learn how to appreciate others. Learn how to clap for others when they succeed or win before you do so. Learn how to accept corrections. Learn how to receive criticism. Learn how to forgive. I can tell you, it is impossible to do life alone. You will be lonely. You will feel excluded. You will pretend you're okay. But I can tell you, do not succumb to online pressure that every family member is useless. Every friend you ever had is useless. I can tell you for free, trying it alone, you'd be more miserable. You'd be a bigger failure if you tried this life alone. Nobody has ever hacked it alone. Just find a way. And most times, we struggle with friendships, we struggle with family relationships only because we are not willing to change our behaviors. Just look, at times sit alone, withdraw from the masses, check your own mannerisms. Do you really have good manners? Are you able to relate with people well? How are your interpersonal skills? If you can't relate with people well, forget about relating with God. So many times I see people who make noise, oh, me, me, with God. God cannot exist if there are not people. No people. How, how, really, how will God exist in your life 
and you assume that that God will come and uplift you to heaven that you think of, it's not possible. So when I look at majority of the people on social media, family meetings, friends, friendships that I have seen, we align to ourselves thinking that a day will come when you will be self-sufficient. Every day you need help from other people. You need support. You need guidance. You need really, uh, you just need people around you. But who am I? If you think that you can make it alone, try this year. Let's speak in December and see how far you would have gone. If God really intended that in this life you make it alone, he would have done it so. But he created all of us, brought all of us under this sun so that we are able to develop and nurture positive friendships between friends and family members, workmates, colleagues, wherever you are, just be a good person. If you can't, the world will exclude you. In that day, you will realize you are so limited. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's Teke Teke Nation Live.